While a priest in the Roman Catholic Diocese of Albany, New York, Father Patrick Payton got involved with the Holy Rosary radio programs that were aired by stations in the Albany and Schenectady area. These initial radio contacts, combined with an acquaintance with the local correspondent for Variety, led to Father Payton's first national radio effort. In 1945, he organized a Mother's Day broadcast over the mutual broadcast system, featuring Bing Crosby, who Father Payton had cold called about hosting the event. For the next two years, Father Payton toiled to bring an ongoing series to the air that would focus on Peyton's unshakable and unyielding belief in the power of prayer and its role in family life. Mutual again would be his landing place when the system's president, Edgar Kobach, agreed to donate a time slot. In return, Kobach wanted a first-rate program, as well as Peyton to cover all the production expenses. During his two-year effort to bring a new series to the air, Father Payton had made many contacts in the film and radio industries. Tom Lewis, Bob Longnecker, and Al Scapone were brought on board to take care of the -the behind-the-scenes operations. As a result of his effort, Family Theater premiered February 13, 1947. Originating from KHJ's Hollywood Studios, the program was heard from coast to coast, although initially not at the same time or even on the same day. Every week, the guest host would open, saying, More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. In focusing his series on prayer, Father Peyton frequently found himself gently resisting pressure from the hierarchy of the Catholic Church to slip more doctrine into the scripts. All the while, he created an environment that welcomed a variety of Hollywood stars, many of whom found a bit of positive publicity for their efforts. Family theater was never sponsored, nor did Father Payton ever attempt to turn it into a commercial show. He worked relentlessly to raise the money needed to cover the production costs week in and week out. The quality of the shows was recognized by a number of awards over the years, and Family Theater aired new episodes at least until 1957, ten years after its debut and was still heard in reruns on Mutual until the 1960s, well past radio's golden age. Information for this synopsis is based on information from the program guide for Family Theater, Every Home, by Radio Spirits and written by Carl Shadow, and from John Dunning's The Encyclopedia of Old Time Radio. For Old Time Radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Enjoy the show.